Recently, I got to spend some time with a truly inspiring 19-year-old who is battling some rather formidable odds and is succeeding in an amazing way. At first glance, he looks like he should be on the basketball court. At 6 feet 11, Kevin Lau is big, even by college standards. But look again. Kevin has just one hand, an impossible disadvantage in the game of basketball. Nice. Everyone has obstacles. You see people succeed, but they had to overcome obstacles. For me, it might be, my obstacle might be a little, you know, a bit more obvious, but... In the womb, his umbilical cord cut off circulation to his left arm. He's always had only one fully functioning limb. But despite, or maybe because of, his disability, Kevin has always been driven and determined. We didn't compromise, so he would always have to adapt to what everybody else does, and that really has worked out for him. Do you have any idols? Do Jim, you have? Abbott. Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott. Born without a right hand, Jim Abbott battled the odds all the way to Major League Baseball. No hitter for Jim Abbott! He was the only one that sort of went through the same things yeah. that I'm going through now. To spare him frustration and maybe heartbreak, Kevin was encouraged to play soccer. But instead, Kevin gravitated to a sport that relies on good hands, two good hands. Did anybody ever say to you, uh, yo, Kev, you can't play this game? Countless amount of times. Is that fuel? for you? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You know, they tell you you can't do something. In my position, that makes you want to do it twice as bad. Kevin defied the odds and became captain of his high school basketball team. Last year, he played at Fork Union Military Academy Prep School. While there, he led the team in rebounds and block shots. But his ultimate goal? To play Division I basketball on a full athletic scholarship. No one wanted to take the chance giving a one-arm player that opportunity. Barry Rorson, head coach of the Manhattan College Jaspers, ignored the counsel of many and gave Kevin a place on the team and the scholarship he dreamed of. You really have to root for Kevin. Uh, he, he's that type of young man. He doesn't take days off. He doesn't take plays off. He really goes at everything uh, with 100%. I can afford to have like a bad game. People could view me as having those errors because I have one hand. I can't afford that as a player, and that's always been the case. So uh, I, I might have to work harder, you know, than, than everybody else. And check this out. This is so cool. He is such a cool kid. Yep. We talked books. We talked philosophy. We talked <laughs> theology. And he's running for president of the freshman class up at Manhattan. Of course College. he is. Right. Well, you know, it's one thing you want to say. It, at the Division One level, scholarships are a very limited basis, yeah. and you really have to make sure you use each scholarship to the right player. You talk about getting a character kid and a kid who you know you are going mm -hmm. to get your scholarship right. back, and then someone yes. he'll bring to that team from a work ethic standpoint and from a character standpoint. Look I think can, you Look cannot say yeah. enough because with a lot of kids, you, you're taking chances with, with not knowing what the background is. What they can cool be great guy. basketball players, but mm -hmm. it's what kind of people are they? What kind of students are they going right. to be? I, I will say this much about Harry doing the story on, on this guy. So much for teams, you know. Underestimating the kid. That's what I, I was going to say. I can't wait to see the faces of the opponents who underestimate right. him. Think about when Shock you were kids and, and you were picking up sides for like just a pickup basketball yeah, yeah. game. Mm -hmm. I mean, was he the first guy I picked? Or, I mean, and then he, he just he rolls on the court. This is it, the other part of this, and as you can see, this guy just has this crazy, phenomenal work ethic. It really is just so about he has so much to prove. And he's got uh -huh. some size, too. He yeah. is 6'11. <laughs> he won't be he taking is, that lightly. He is 6'11. Yeah. And he oh, by the way, his right hand is about this big, <laughs> yeah. and it's as strong as a, as a vice grip. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I want to salute his mom. I love that she said we never compromised. It took him a little longer, but he had to do things just yeah. like everybody else did. All right, good luck, kid. Awesome right. story.